guys stuff thumbs here uh, uh, sorry I've been uh, not making videos again it seems I I don't know I get stressed out on shipping days it's just Tuesday and Wednesday and uh, I don't know I just got over that back pain then I had some food poisoning uh, yesterday and today so that kind of sucked really really bad so basically it was you know doing my thing and in bed till 4 today and I finally got some work done and uh, shipping a ton absolute ton of stuff tomorrow I had I did ship some stuff on Tuesday uh, what I could um, my sandblaster kicked the bucket as well uh, I got that fixed so you know that put a uh, damper on a few things I was shipping but um, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys a lot of cool shit I did today today and uh, you know a couple days ago um, but first up, updates. Now the D2 fixed blades, I know you guys are waiting and I feel bad, but um, the heat treat place I sent to, they're taking forever and it's really getting on my nerves. Um, so I apologize for that guys. The second I get them in, they're going to be perfect, so don't worry about it. They're going to be awesome. Uh, the Tough Toads, same deal. I mean, um, you know, just working on getting them done. Um, this is just one that's uh, came back for refurbishing. Just wanted a backspacer. Um, I believe this, as long as it dug, did a really good job with the pocket clip there, dude. I'm gonna do that for the rest of my pocket clips as well. That uh, was a good idea. These clips aren't exactly the greatest when they uh, they come, but you know. Anyway, here's some stuff. Uh, you know, the sandblaster got fixed, so it's a hell of a lot better. Uh, this one's going out tomorrow. A little cox looks really sweet. I just made sure this thing is perfect. The sandblaster made that uh, pattern on the, the scale a hell of a lot cooler. This one's got an absolutely perfect pattern on it. I like this thing a lot, it looks a hell of a lot better than when I got it. And uh, this guy as well, the titanium UK PK. Um, so first up, we got a few, we got an epic paramilitary you guys have seen a bunch of times, but it's got an addition onto it that I've never done before. Something really crazy, I'll save that one for last because you guys seem to like the paramilitaries a lot. Um, but as you can see here, we got some, some baby expensive knives. Some, uh, a little Strider PT and a Sabenza, a small Sabenza. So first up, I'll do the Sabenza. So this one is pretty sweet. It's, uh, you know, I refurbished it just because I do that with all the uh, small Sabenzas or any Sabenzas I get. You know, the scale was a little scratched up and stuff, so now it looks nice, nice and perfect, brand new. Same with the pocket clip and all that stuff. Um, now this one, you want a carbon fiber, and I had a sample piece of carbon fiber. It's just big enough for this, and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so it's like a, it's like a gold bronze carbon fiber, and it has a texture on it, which is kind of sweet. But I basically did the same thing as the original. And this has a backspacer from, uh, there's some guy who makes it, I think it's Southern something. He makes backspacers out of titanium. So this isn't my, my backspacer, but you know, just to let you guys know. So you got this peel ply carbon fiber with this really nice reflective bronze something on it. It looks nice though. But everything's just beveled to exactly like the original scale. A little bit more right here, just to, for extra comfort. This is a left-handed, so I'm gonna have trouble opening and closing it. Yeah, it's nice, nice lockup, nice and perfect. It's cool. It feels very factory. It's really nice, actually. I like it. Not sure where this piece came from exactly, but it was literally like this big and uh, just the slightest bit wider, just the slightest. So it was perfect for this. And you see that backspacer is really cool. But uh, this one's for Mark. Uh, we've seen a lot of Mark's stuff because he, you know, had his Manix 2s stolen in the mail. 
and I'm going to be doing about four knives for him just to make up for uh, USPS's mistakes and uh, just to just out of a courtesy uh, just because you know so I'm pretty sure uh, in any USPS workers out there guys no offense but I mean not honoring your insurance policy is bullshit and uh, I've had two now that just basically they just gave me the runaround for months and months and months to the point where they, they think they just try to get you to give up pretty much so I mean I tried my best if something like that does happen, I will try, but it's better if you yourself actually give it a shot. Um, you know, because I don't have, I mean, on a couple of them I spent days just calling every single day multiple times. And, uh, you know, it didn't really make much difference. They didn't really want to help at all, so. Kind of sucks. I mean, I rely on USPS and I think they're great. Uh, they're the best way that to, you know, ship stuff in my opinion, but, you know, I don't know. So anyway, moving on. <coughs> So next up you got a Strider PT, this thing's pretty cool, so I did an exact replica of the scale, and uh, so you can still carry, Oop. so this one is, yeah see that, I don't think it comes with a pocket clip, um, this hole needs to be fixed up a tiny bit on the other side, so I went with the Jade, great choice. Looks very nice. And I believe there's going to be some glow stuff in here too. I want to show you guys how exact I got this. It's nice and high polished. See, the hole needs a little bit of fixing up. But that is a good, definitely a good color for this. Looks cool, I think. Very cool. And finally, something that's no stranger to my channel. Sorry guys, my enthusiasm is a little bit low. I'm just uh, still feeling like shit. And, uh, you know, food poisoning, if, if you've been through it, you, you know it's just, just not fun at all. So, next up, this is from my buddy Will. Uh, Will is a really good guy, and he really helped me with my back issues. Um, in my opinion, he cured me of them, and I'm definitely f forever grateful for that. And I wanted to go the extra mile on this, do something that I've never done before. Um, <laughs> now I say that, but then you see this. A reptilian, uh, carbon fiber, and toxic green liners, nothing new. Uh, but on the backspacer, carbon fiber with toxic green uh, pieces of G10 basically connecting the, the sides together. Just a little design. It's got the little grooves on the bottom. Uh, but this is very, very difficult actually. I, I thought it'd be easy to do, but I ended up being up till like 4 in the morning just getting it right. Uh, it was difficult. Very, very difficult. But uh, it turned out very nice. Cool, you can see the uh, carbon fiber waves in there, broken up by the toxic green. And this one's very, very smooth. This one's the smoothest paramilitaries I've, I've done. Look at that. Slicing my jacket open. This thing just glides closed. This is tap for left hand. So I'm very happy with the results here. I gotta figure out a better way to do this because I do want to do more stuff with this in the future. Maybe on the front too. Maybe some lines going here and there. Uh, give that ultimate Tron look.
This thing is just completely flush with the back. Just kind of for a solid piece. Looks like it was filled in with carbon fiber. But uh, just love the way that carbon fiber looks from the side. Focus. And I just want to say, guys, um, please, 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 please send a note when you send your stuff. Um, when you don't send a note, um, it causes all sorts of confusion, and it's just, it makes things take longer. I mean, you're not going to get your stuff done as quickly because, you know, it's just sitting there, you know, so I can grab this or that with a note and just do it, whereas that i got to go inside research. Sometimes I can't even find some of the stuff um, in my email, which is just blows my mind because... I think on occasion people have just sent me stuff without asking, saying anything, just like sent it um, and then maybe shot me an email so I have no idea who they are. Um, it's happened on rare occasions, but you know, just sending a note, usually I can find it through some, some digging, but uh, having a note, I mean I say it on my site like right away, uh, the first thing, um, it's just really important because it just makes things just a lot easier for me and for you. So. Just make sure to do that. Um, there's a package here. I mean, it blows my mind that I have a order with three knives just sitting ready to go, but no indication of who it belongs to um, at all. I looked up each knife in there, and there's no record in my emails, no record in my on my YouTube, just nothing. And um, you know, they got the guy's name and address, but not anything else. So I got to look up his phone number. The phone book. Um, so if you had a, a Kershaw, uh, yeah, it was a speed form, a little Almax thing, uh, a Emerson CQC 10, I think. Yeah, shoot me an email because uh, either you know Gmail's done in the past. Uh, stuff has just been randomly disappeared out of my email, which really sucks because it makes me look uh, bad, like I don't know what I'm doing or I'm unorganized or something. But honestly, guys, I keep everything very organized. Uh, all I ask is that you work with me and just send a note, and uh, there would be no problems. But anyway, guys, sorry for the uh, kind of bitchy attitude I had today, but you know I'm just not feeling that great. And uh, but you know I'm pretty happy with the work I did today, and uh, a bunch of stuff has been finished and finally got me a Yojimbo 2. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't it. <laughs> Uh, my Yojimbo is coming tomorrow. This one came in the mail today. I got me all excited, but this isn't it. But you know, this is only the second time I got to handle this thing, and I'm not going to handle it. This is the second time I've held it for like five seconds. Uh, I'm going to put it right back because I just don't want to ruin it for myself. So when I get it, I can just you know fondle it crazy, cra fondle it like crazy because it's just a cool knife. So I'm going to put that back because I don't want to touch it and ruin it for myself. Anyway, guys, that was extremely douchey what I just said, but that's cool. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and yep, please email me if you want to order anything. Yeah, I'm not too busy. Uh, I'm moving pretty soon, guys, so I could use the work. Um, you know, things are getting done quicker and quicker. Um, just that snag with my back has just set me back a little bit, but, you know, other than the uh, food poisoning, um, <laughs> you know, things are getting done very, very quickly, so... Most likely your stuff is coming back in the mail if you sent it in the last couple months. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.